Hey guys, happy Valentine's Day. I am posting this on Valentine's Day so we can hang out together. I will be your Valentine, you are my Valentine. No offense to my husband. <laughs> so uh, I'm actually getting ready for a little Valentine's Day date night before Valentine's Day because um, my husband's gonna be at drill on Valentine's Day. So we still wanted to celebrate it. We're just having a little date night at home, getting some like fancy takeout and making a little moment. Um, and you know me, I am extra. <laughs> I want to glam up and treat it like a normal Valentine's Day, even though we're in a pandemic. Um, you can still make special moments at home. So we're gonna do a little chit chat, get ready with me. We're gonna do my hair, you're gonna get ready with me. So happy Valentine's Day. So if you just feel like glamming up right now, grab some makeup, let's get Valentine's glam for our date night. <laughs> so I'm actually excited. I have a new foundation that I'm gonna try. I got this in PR and I'm hyped because it's the Clinique Even Better Clinical Serum Foundation. So way back when I had first started my job at MAC, one of my favorite foundations, I remember it was in the shade Linen, um, and it was the Clinique Even Better, or like Better, right? Even Better, Better Skin, I don't know. It was one of their foundations, and I think it was the Even Better. Uh, we got a little self-tanner issue going on. It's all right, not the worst. So I just exfoliated my skin, and oh my god, it feels so smooth putting on this primer. A little all-nighter just for some nice grip, um, because it's only 12 o'clock right now. <laughs> And this day night is not for like five, six hours. So the cool thing is on top, they sent me a few shades. Um, it says dry combination to oily. So great <laughs> because I got a little bit of everything going on right now in the middle of winter. Um, I'm like fading myself tan at the moment. So I'm gonna kind of see here which shade I think is gonna be the best. All right, so let me just like read the claims to y'all. SPF 25, we love that. Um, it has serum in it to help reduce dark spots, even your skin tone, brighten and hydrate. In as little as eight weeks, your skin will appear more even toned, radiant and smooth. I love <laughs> products like this that are like multi-purpose, like a foundation with skincare in it is like the dream. It's supposed to be feather light, weight and texture, 24 hour true color wear, so no oxidization, oxidization. Oil-free, waterproof, sweat and humidity proof, non-acnegenic, won't cake, crease, or settle. Is this a miracle foundation? <laughs> it's buildable, medium to full coverage, satin finish. They have 42 shades. Oh my God, it's got all this different technology in it to um, back up those claims. If this actually does all that, like, hallelujah. Let's go ahead and see. So I'm gonna try um, the shade CN18 in Cream Whip. The packaging is absolutely adorable. Like it looks like a little egg. It's so cute. Okay, and they also have a concealer we'll try too. Um, oh no, I'm not. Ah, cute, okay, we got a little pump. Got a clean beauty blender. So uh, let's see how it is. And we'll do a wear test too, because like they say that it's supposed to last up to 24 hours in your true color. So we'll see, ooh. Okay, she's stunning. I think the color is good, guys. I think the color is good. Oh, it might be. Mm. Mm. I mm. <clears throat> maybe not. Let me let me mix a little bit of the lighter one. It might be a little dark. Um, but we can always blend down the neck here. It's so awkward when the self tan starts to fade and you're just like, I don't know what color I am. So bear with me. I'm gonna mix together these colors. Okay, but the coverage is. Like it's not too, um, too medium. Like I was kind of afraid I'd see like uh, my dark spots come through. And I love that this can work with my dark spots because that's something I've been working on fading. And I've actually been able to come a really long way with my dark marks. Guys, this coverage is so beautiful. And it is, it's feather light. Like it feels like I have nothing on my skin. It's not greasy. Oh my God, it's beautiful. I think our color match is like close enough. <laughs> I think uh, that first shade would have been perfect when my self tan was fresh, but it looks so, I don't even need to layer more. And it's buildable, like I could build more. It's sitting on the skin like just so nicely. Like it looks like I have a filter on. All right, if this wears well, like this is just, I am very, particular with how a foundation will just like sit on the skin before it's even set. Like I can kind of tell 
right away like how is this gonna go we'll see how it looks when i set with powder but it really is a nice like satin finish it's not super shiny it's not drying down and feeling dry it's not clinging to any of my dry patches and it doesn't look super oily we'll see if i get oily i always do um so far so good okay clinique is bomb all right let's see here we have some concealer as well um it's also the even better it's all over concealer and eraser you know when you like have a hair on your face especially like the nose when you're doing your makeup and you have to like try to pick it off oh my god this is just like i can't i keep looking at it up close and it's like it's a miracle when foundation looks good up close you know Ooh, i just realized this has like a little uh kind of almost spongy angled tip at the top tip at the top i know i'm not gonna use that <laughs> but that would be great if you're like on the go and you just want to like blend it out real quick but okay we got a little doe foot applicator here is what it looks like in the packaging all right so i'm just going to do my usual little routine here let's do just a little bit of highlighting because why not i wish it was a little bit lighter but that's the shade that we have so we're gonna make it work laura mercier translucent powder so are you guys doing anything for valentine's day um legit even if you're just like chilling at home like watching movies and like ordering some food or cooking like a nice meal like love that love that okay so this is too dark <laughs> Um, I think this would have been great for like probably touching up spots. I'm sure that's what their intention was when they sent this because it's also like supposed to help erase, you know, marks and stuff before you do your foundation or after. Not necessarily under the eyes, but let's go ahead and talk about the formula. It's sitting really nicely. You guys know here <laughs> in like recent makeup videos, we've actually had like a little bit of trouble with some new foundations lately because my skin has been so finicky. Like it's like oily, it's dry. It's been all over the place so um i was a little nervous about doing this but okay wow it's just so pretty i think i'm just gonna take another lighter concealer just to do a little bit of brightening some elf hydrating camo just like a tiny bit you know that was nice because i definitely see it correcting um like the darkness under my eyes but now I just wanna go ahead and do a little bit of brightening, but I like the formula. It's not like super creasy either, cause I have this line under my eye and like I'll always crease no matter what concealer I use, but I can tell with some they're worse than others cause like right away I'll have something in that line and this one doesn't do that yet. So yeah, we just needed, just needed a little brightness. All right, I'm just going to take my sponge, put a little, setting powder under there did you guys see i've seen going around on tiktok which is where i pretty much get all my makeup news nowadays did i say nowadays nowadays <laughs> so like nyx now has this brow freeze not brow freeze brow glue like the anastasia brow freeze um and like the video i saw it looked absolutely amazing like the exact same effect as the anastasia brow freeze and i have been loving the brow freeze lately like it's crazy how much it makes your brows look laminated and they do not move um that's a few videos back if you want to see but like we stand nyx nyx drugstore game has been just climbing okay so for the brows i'm gonna go like a little more kind of streamlined than my typical fluffy messy brow i've been doing so i'm gonna go ahead and use my little elf eye brush here and i'm gonna use this morphe brow cream in hazelnut i just tweezed and like trimmed my eyebrows okay i don't know if this is like is this gross but like when you let your brows grow out so much and then you like brush them up and trim them like and you look down on the table how much hair there is like my eyebrows grow really long <laughs> i don't know if that's weird but like it's been so long since i have trimmed the eyebrows and they just look so much better when you like fill them in also, my hair has grown out so much. Like my blonde is down here. Um, I feel like I look, I look brunette. But I have a hair appointment next week to go a bit blonder. You guys know me. I feel my best when I'm blonder. I do like the darker root though. Like I'm still definitely into that, but I'm excited to add in a little more blonde. I'm really loving like the money pieces, like the brightness in the front like around the face, that warmth. I've been doing that the last few um, rounds and I just, ooh, 
so pretty. I also wanted to ask who else has been watching Firefly Lane? I feel like so many people have been asking if I'm watching it and yes, I am. I'm like halfway through at this moment, but like by the time this video goes up, I know I'll be done. Um, and I love it. It's so good. It's like a new Netflix original series. Netflix is just popping out bangers. Side note, NARS, soft matte, complete concealer. I love this for cleaning up my brows. I'll link everything below like usual. But Firefly Lane is so good. And it's so funny because I've gotten this in the past too. Like I've gotten before that people think I look like Katherine Heigl and I didn't see it for a long time, but like sometimes I can see it, you know? But it's funny because I've literally gotten that like a few times now. I got it the first time and I'm like, mm, I don't think so. But I can kind of see it now sometimes. The other one I've got is um, Tiffany Amber Thiessen. Um, she's from Saved by the Bell. I could definitely see that more when I was thinner, <laughs> but I don't know. You guys will have to let me know. Oh, like I just, that concealer, ooh, it blends out so nice around the brows. All right, so let's go ahead and sweep away our under eye baking. It's set super nice, that concealer, because y'all know, I talk about this a lot, when I sweep away the baking powder, there's nothing worse than when it just feels so dry under the eyes and it's like patchy. I'm gonna take a little NYX Stay Matte But Not Flat powder to just set the other parts of my face. Um, yeah, the under eyes are looking great. The foundation is sitting so nice. Like it definitely, like without powder, has that satin finish. It's very natural looking, but the coverage, ooh, she's pretty. I'm definitely curious how it'll go with my oiliness, you know, by the end of the day, my forehead is an oil slick, but ooh, and it set nice on my nose too. Cause my nose kind of has like a lot of texture, you know? And sometimes with foundation, when I set the powder, it will just like smear. Like the foundation will just smear and won't stay in place and it'll get like chunky and patchy. This is sitting like probably the best next to like my favorite double wear, so. Mama's happy. Okay, let's go ahead and do some Marc Jacobs Tantastic Bronzer. I will say the Revolution one definitely reminds me of the Marc Jacobs one. Like I have been using this one like every single day. It's just a little bit darker than this one, but the Revolution bronzer is fire. It's fire. Like when my self tan was first developed, I was using that like every day. So just because this is a little bit lighter, doing this right now just to contour. Such a pretty bronzer. And the last time I checked, it was on sale at Sephora. So hopefully when I link it, it'll still be on sale. What do we think? Should I contour the nose today? I think you and I both know I'm gonna contour the nose. We're still in the phase. Y'all know I go through phases. This color I will say is like perfect for a nose contour because it's very cool and natural and there's no shimmer or shine to it. It's very like matte satin vibes. And I just throw on like a light dusting of that down the sides of my nose, nothing too intense. And then I blend it out with just a powder brush just to soften it. Still loving this e.l.f. primer infused blush. Like it is so stunning and it really does like stay on all day. So this one is just, I don't know what color it is. It doesn't say, oh, always rosy. So lately I've been trying to focus my blush like more up here and then I blend it down. And I've been really liking the way it looks. Like it sits kind of more on top of my bronzer. Cause you know, that first place you put the makeup is where the majority of it sits. And I just take the leftover on my nose and forehead. I'm gonna go ahead and use the Revolution Just My Type highlighter reloaded i real oh y'all i mean i can't shut up about it i love revolution like revolution and nyx are like some of my favorite drugstore brands like oh you kidding this just beams and it's easy to blend a little on the nose bring in rudolph to february all right so i'm gonna use some morphe continuous setting mist and I'm just gonna do a little spritz of Urban Decay D Slick on top. So, okay, skin is looking really, really good. I love that foundation. I hope it wears well and doesn't like crack 
or slip off. We will see. So you guys know me. I'm not super extra with my eyeshadow. Don't act surprised. But I did post this look the other day on my Instagram. I think it was in an IG reel or a TikTok and you guys were asking for a tutorial. So it is so easy and it's just so beautiful. It's not my usual matte nude look. It's a little bit more romantic. So I thought it was perfect for today. So all you're gonna need are these two shades of the Laura Mercier Caviar Eye Sticks. So I have it in Nude Rose and then Coco. So literally first, make sure you have like some uh, primer on or like concealer on your eyelids set with powder. Just make sure your base is all set. So we're gonna take the Nude Rose stick first and just pop it all over the lid. I love eye sticks like this because they're just like the easiest, quickest way to do like kind of a smoky eye or just like a pop of color on the lid. You can use them like smudged out as an eyeliner for a more soft look. Like they're just, oh, and the pigment is beautiful. Done with that. <laughs> now I'm gonna take the cocoa color and I'm just going to make a V on the outer corner of my eye, kind of more like a U. Depends what shape you want to go for. I'm going to do one eye at a time for this. I'm taking a Morphe M503 brush and I'm just going to soften the edges. And I'm working in small little strokes because they are cream. We don't want them to like, like where you move them, they will stay. <laughs> so just be cautious. That's it. What was that? Was that less than a minute? I think it was. And then I'm just going to go ahead and take Coco on the outer third bottom of my lash line and then top it with Nude Rose. A little bit more inward, like two thirds. Same brush. Soften it up. Like, are you, it's like so, so easy. It's crazy. And it's just so stunning. Like, it's just like this perfect sheen. Like that's all I did for that look. And it's just, it's kind of romantic, but it's still neutral if you're like me and you just don't like too much of a shimmer and all that. All right, so I'm gonna do this eye. We gotta figure out what lashes we're gonna put on. All right, I am back with some lashes on. These are the Kiss Naked Drama Lashes in Chiffon. I got them from Ulta a few weeks ago and I am completely obsessed. Like literally all of the Kiss Naked Drama lashes are just like chef's kiss. Beautiful. So this little lip kit I got in PR2 and it's from Jouer. It's the Bare Rose Lip Kit. I thought it was perfect for Valentine's Day. Like the packaging is so pretty. Like what the heck? I don't even want to ruin it. It's just so pretty. So it's a shine balm and a lip liner. So, oh my God, this is like, this is high quality. <laughs> I don't have a ton of Jouer um, makeup items, but this is so pretty. Like the things I do have from them are like really good, but I'm not like super knowledgeable with Jouer. So let's go ahead and try this lip liner first in Bare Rose, of course. Oh, I love a self sharpening. Ooh. The color, I already knew it was gonna be so my vibe. I'm a rosy nude gal. I feel like this color combo is like perfect with the eyes, the blush, it's all kind of rosy. Everything has rose in it. The blush, the eyeshadow, the lip, ooh, rosy. This is one of those lip liners that's like super duper creamy, so you have to be like careful. I'm kind of used to having to work a little harder with like other lip liners, but it's a very nice creamy formula. Just be careful. And then we're gonna use the Bare Rose Lip Enhancer Balm. Very pretty. Mmm, oh my God. That is so, so nice. More pigment than I thought it would since it's like a shine balm. Okay, that lip set, if you are like not in the mood for a matte moment and you want a little bit of like hydration and something comfortable, like it feels like I just have on like a lip balm. But the pigment is there. I thought it would be so much more sheer. I really did. Oh, I really like this look. Yeah. I like the way it came out. Yes. I've been having some weird makeup days lately, so I'm pretty happy that we look pretty good. <laughs> All right, so now let's get into this hair. 
Um, so I'm doing my favorite look as of late, which y'all already know, the Desi Perkins curls. She did a tutorial a while back now. So I slept with my hair in the four braids and then I use like a very thin wand. I don't know, I would say this is like a half an inch barrel from Hot Tools. Um, I'll confirm and link it. But lately y'all have been loving when I do this look. It looks more natural like than just like my typical beachy wave. Um, and it's just more fun. It's kind of more wild and romantic. So I'm gonna use this Better Not Younger No Remorse Heat Protectant and Taming Spray first. And I try to like really make sure I get the front pieces because that's where I have the most breakage and I want to protect. So usually the waves that I do in advance, so the, essentially here, if you didn't watch her tutorial, um, we're doing curls throughout all of these waves to make it look kind of more like that natural, like almost Carrie Bradshaw vibe. And I probably end up curling like 50% of my hair. So it's a mix of these like really thin curls plus the waves. And I also do them like some away from my face, some towards my face so that they look a bit more like natural than uniform. And then I kind of just pull them a little bit. So this one I'm doing towards my face. And it, I like doing this because you don't have to be so like precise and get every single piece, you know, like because your hair is already wavy from those braids. And it just, oh, I love this look. It's just, it's, and it's so easy. Oh guys, I just love, 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 love this look. So yeah, this is essentially how I do the hair. And I like to kind of like fluff it and zhuzh it. Like I like it to be a bit more wild looking and I leave out some in the bottom because that's just like the style that I like, but you can always do it all the way to the bottom if you want, but I think it just looks a bit more untamed with the bottom being straight. And ultimately you can just play with it and uh, you know, do whatever pieces you see fit until you feel like you've reached that desired look. I haven't watched her tutorial in a while. So if you wanna like see her tutorial and like get more tips from her, um, I'll link her tutorial below. But this is what I've been doing for a while. All right, I'm gonna do this side of my head. All right, I am back with my hair done. I took a little selfie break. If y'all wanna follow me on Instagram, you can see it. Um, okay, what are we doing? All right, so I'm gonna take a little bit of this Whey hair oil, just like a little bit between my hands and just for a little bit of shine, I like to just add that to the mid shaft and the ends. Also, these curls hold for days. Just use some dry shampoo. You can always just do a few touch-ups every day, but like I'll wear these for probably like three or four days. And finally, I'm going to just do some hairspray. I have been loving this since we got it at Ulta. This is the Moneymaker Flexible Hold Hairspray from Dry Bar. It is exactly what I was looking for. It gives me like just enough hold to like secure the curls, but it really is flexible. Like it's not crunchy. Y'all, I cannot stand a crunchy hairspray. The smell is not my favorite, but it does the job. It's very movable, keeps your curls soft. So yes, that is it. I will check back in later with an outfit and an update on the foundation. Oh, I hope it wears well, cause like y'all, it is just stunning. So I'll check in with you guys later before our little date night. All right guys, so we are about to just go pick up our food. And you know what? There's just something about putting on jeans. I rarely put on jeans these days. It just makes me feel more put together than my usual loungewear. So this is my outfit. These are some of my favorite jeans. They are from Good American. They're the Always Fits. Um, and they go uh, like from size 14 to 18, this pair. And I am an 18 and these are very stretchy. So these are awesome. And then on my top half, I've had this sweater for so long. It's from ASOS. I, <laughs> I think I've kept it for years and years and years because it's just one of my favorites. Uh, I like to do a little tie on the side because it's pretty oversized. Um, but I thought it was perfect for Valentine's Day with the pink and the red. So let's talk about the foundation. So the foundation has already been on for six hours. I haven't done a single touch up. And before I started filming, I went up into the mirror and I took a good look. And 
You guys, this foundation is freaking awesome. Like, I'm definitely like a little glowy, but it doesn't look oily. It looks just kind of like a natural loomy vibe. Um, it's not like I feel greasy. I don't feel any sort of greasiness. I haven't cracked or creased or crumbled. <sighs> guys, it, it hasn't oxidized, like it's perfect. Like it still <laughs> looks like I just put it on almost. So needless to say, your girl's pretty impressed. Like if it looks this good after six hours, like I'm thinking it's gonna look amazing after like even eight or nine. We're gonna go have a nice little date night, but thank you guys for watching. I love you and I will see you in another video soon. Bye.